This weekend, thousands of people are expected to be in Times Square for the historic pro-life event Alive from New York. It's bringing a voice for the voiceless to the abortion capital of America, a state which sees 239 children killed by the deadly procedure every day. But the organizers are facing strong opposition. Their leader says several companies refuse to lease them billboards on which they plan to show an ultrasound of a baby in the womb. Undeterred, rally participants are bringing their own digital billboards to the crossroads of the world. They're also going to be speaking out loudly. This is the biggest pro-life weekend in New York City history. And uh, we wanted to be a part of it by bringing in top name pro-life speakers to Queens. Chris Slattery is talking about the Summit for Life, two days in Queens, getting ready for the Times Square demonstration. I have been affected by abortion in a very unique way. One of the most powerful speakers that the Queens group heard was Claire Colwell. Colwell is adopted. The first time she met her birth mother, she brought along some greeting cards. She opened the cards and she read the words, uh, thank you for choosing life for me. And I watched as her happy tears turned quickly, instantly into really sad tears. At the time, Colwell didn't know her mother had not chosen life. My birth mother had a DNE dismemberment, late term abortion at 20 weeks. Um, and they told her that day that her life would go back to normal, but it never did. In fact, a few weeks later, uh, she went back to that doctor and they told her that the abortion had been successful, but that it had only been successful on one baby because she had actually been pregnant with twins. The doctors missed Claire's little body because they didn't perform an ultrasound examination. Colwell says it's important to share her story because the sanctity of life is so important. Other speakers will do the same in Times Square on Saturday, all of them speaking out for the unborn who don't yet have the ability to speak for themselves. In Astoria, Emily Druby, Currents News.